Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to SC Outdoors. Today I am hoping that this is going to be a great episode and I'm hoping it's going to be two great episodes in a row because I decided to take the weekend to go up northwest um, fishing the uh, Lake Erie tributaries for some steelhead. Um, never done this in the winter time. I've done it a couple times in the fall. I really have no idea what to expect. Um, I mean, I know the fish are pretty far upstream this time of year. Weather looked pretty good this week, so I figured I'd, uh, I'd head out here. Um, fishing reports look good as well. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm just not sure what they're going to be hitting on. Um, I'm starting off with just throwing a spinner, just going to kind of see if that works, I guess. Uh, I also brought some jigs, uh, some trout magnets, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure what will get these fish to bite. I'm not using any live bait or anything. So we'll see. I'm coming up to the top of this cliff here. Just wanted to check it out, see what it looks like here. But creek looks good. No, uh, no ice on it, so that's always a positive thing. So we're going to try to make our way down there. I'm not sure exactly how yet, but we'll get down there and see if we can't catch some fish. All right, guys, so I just saw my first uh, couple steelhead. They're sitting in this little pocket here. It's pretty deep. Current's pretty good. I can't really see much, but I did see one. I fished a couple holes now and just haven't seen a fish yet. So um, I'm going to try to throw this jig at them and then maybe throw a spinner in through there. Hopefully something gets them. A quick update for you. Um, I'm at a different creek. Didn't really do that well at the other creek. I lost one fish. Didn't catch it on camera, of course. But I ended up at uh, this stream now. Smaller stream. Not much, though. Um, fish can still move pretty far up in here. I found this hole. Nobody's fishing it. Uh, everybody was downstream of where I parked, so I decided to walk up. And there are five or six steelhead in here. Um, maybe a big brown, too. So I tried throwing my jig at it a little bit. Nothing. I um, had a couple chasers. Now I'm going to go a little bit more subtle. Um, see if I can get something to hit like a like a smaller minnow lure, like a trout magnet or something. But see how we do. Oh my gosh, he hit it right away. Oh, he lo they love this. Oh, first cast with this little jig. Got him. Yes. Oh, my drag wasn't set very well. Now the major issue with this trout magnet is the, uh, the hook bends. I've had that happen quite a few times on a uh, on a steelhead. So I got to play them nice. Really not fight on that hard. He kind of looks looks a little gross, to be honest. Oh, there he goes. He just realized he's hooked. Oh man, he's taking me the whole way upstream. I don't think he knew what happened at first. Of course, I managed to get the most sickly looking fish in the creek. Oh man, he is all beat up. I'm not sure what, I don't know if that's from spawning or what. got me under this freaking stick. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. It's 
good size to him, but man, is he gross looking. Well, there we go. There's our steelhead, but he is all sorts of beat up. I mean, look at that fin, top of his head. I'm not going to touch him for very long. Get him back in here. He's still got a very good fight to him, that's for sure. Going to use some hand sanitizer after that one. That was pretty gross looking. Um, but finally, Finally, we catch a steelhead. First fish of the day, and it was the grossest fish in the creek. So that's good. Um, there were a couple other ones sitting in here. It'll take a minute for them to die down, but that's what we needed. Missed it. Got him. Oh, he came off. He came off. Shoot. I guess I should set my drag a little bit more than that. Oh, man. Well, there's no one sitting with him. Oh, that was a big one. Got him. Yes. On the spinner. It's a good one too. He's thrashing around a lot. Not really in love with him doing that in the rapids here. This may end up being a pretty awkward landing. But it's a pretty good fish. Destroyed the spinner. That's what I'm talking about. Saw him chasing that first cast. The next cast, he nailed it. It's a pretty big fish. Just gonna walk him into the shallows over here. There we go, first good fish of the day really loving that let's get the get him unhooked here all right so there's our beauty i'm walking him back up here i want to put him back in where i called him He's probably pretty safe in those rapids, or he's feeling good anyways, to hit the spinner like that. One quick look at him again, beautiful fish. Oh, and he was more than ready to go. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully my lens isn't too wet, I know he's splashing around everywhere. I was fishing this hole down here, 
for quite a while and um, at a three or four fish and they were super finicky, wouldn't hit anything. Um, also, quick update, we are at a different creek now um, than the last time you saw me, I think. Um, we're actually at a smaller stream and the only place I've found fish on this one is here at the mouth, but nobody was here. I had like an hour, um, an hour left. So I decided to say, why not just stop and walk down, see if there's any fish in here. I had struck out at another little creek, no fish, but um, this one has a couple, obviously. I don't know, maybe there's another one sitting in those rapids, you never know. All right, folks, that is gonna wrap this day up. Um, ended it with a bang, at least with that fish, but a pretty slow day overall. Um, you know, started out on one of the bigger creeks, uh, nothing there, ended up at a uh, medium-sized creek then. Caught that one fish, lost a couple there. Um, I had a couple missed bites at least. Um, and then I, uh, I went to another small stream, which you guys didn't see at all. There were zero fish in it. Um, and I ended up here, um, and there was only fish at the mouth uh, right before the first waterfall. They didn't make it past that, so. Um, and then I caught that fish on the spinner. Really glad I got one on a moving bait because they're so fun to, to catch on the moving bait. Just when they come, when they just slam it, like it feels like a rock. It really does. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be back at it tomorrow. Uh, hopefully there's a, a part two coming.